Now today, uh, let us see how to solve this problem. Uh, usually, this is uh, with people who are using Microsoft uh, Visual C. Uh, they generally encounter this problem MSVCP110D.dll missing. And one more is there MSVCR110D.dll. And many others may come. So, this DLL problem, missing problem, let us solve it. How you are going to solve it? Let's go to your Google and just type that msvcr110d dll download and whichever means msvcp110d.dll whichever you want the first uh, link probably will be your www.dllfiles.com don't go to any other website or you know that you may find fishy because that will ask you to uh, install that exe and that will be some trojan or virus so try to go to this official one and once you go or reach this website then they will be presenting you this dll and on the on the bottom half you will see that there are various version and uh, version also and platforms also so bits and version you can choose either of them you have to see that your machine is 64 bit or 32 bit for that you can just go to this pc or my computer and in the system category you will see that it will be 64 bit or um, 64 based processor OS is what and processor is what so these this you need to see and on just basis of this you are going to download it and just press download and it, it will be downloaded to your system uh, probability to your download directory I am not going to download it because I have already done that and uh, for 32 bit uh, same same uh, procedure download and once uh, you are done you will uh, in this download you will get this kind of uh, zip files so i have already you know renamed that with 32 and 64 because i was lacking these uh, cr and cps so i downloaded it and i named renamed it actually with 32 and 64 and then what I did, I unzipped it. So these folders were made. And the better idea is to make two more folders, 32 bit and 64 bit, and just copy these whichever files you are missing. I'm not just saying that it be a year CP and CR, and there there may be more files which may be uh, DLL files which may be missing from your system. So just copy here. So essentially, uh, if you just ignore what I just said, you want and you should download 32 bit uh, this. Uh, for DLL files from that website. This is the whole crux. And if you are having a 64 bit machine, then you can download same because the names are so similar. That is why. Once this is been done, uh, let me show you where you have to put it. For that, just open your explorer and go to your uh, C drive. And on C drive, first I am uh, you know explaining for those people who are having 32 bit machine. For them, they have to go to Windows. And in this Windows, uh, please find System32 and System32 and just, you know, copy this 32 and whichever file and just paste it here. If I want to paste it, it will say me replace this file because uh, I have already pasted it. So, uh, for, for you people, it, this uh, message will not come if it is not there. And for 64 bit people, in the same directory, C Windows you will find syswow64 and just uh, take those files of 64 bit copy them and in this system wow 64 just paste them again the same uh, thing that i have already pasted it so this replace has come you will not get this thing so hopefully this will solve your problem uh, thank you so much take care